Athens, Greece, the fourth century BC. In his famous dialogues, Timaeus and Critias, the Greek philosopher Plato writes about a lost continent that existed 9,000 years before his time and was home to a highly advanced civilization. Called Atlantis, it was founded by the Greek god Poseidon, and the inhabitants possessed sophisticated technology. But Atlantis was ultimately destroyed by a terrible cataclysm. And according to some researchers, the story of its destruction is strikingly similar to Native American traditions detailing the end of the Third World. The Hopi and other Pueblo Indians tell us that their devastating cataclysm was due to human greed and wandering away from the, the spiritual truths of our Creator. What's interesting about this is that this idea is echoed in Plato's story of the destruction of Atlantis. The Atlanteans were also created by gods. As soon as humanity wandered off into materialism, that's when Atlantis was destroyed by water. A perfect correspondence with what the Hopi said happened at the end of the Third World. Could there be a connection between the ancient Greek tale of Atlantis and Native American origin stories? Ancient astronaut theorists suggest another story told by early Native Americans bears striking similarities to Atlantis, the legend of the lost city of Aslan, which appears in the traditions of the Aztecs and numerous Native American groups throughout the Southwest. It's considered the birthplace of civilization based on the Mexica codices and the oral history of the Mojaves, of the Hopis. So we have all these oral history also that allude to the origin of Islam. There's debate among scholars as to exactly what Aslan looked like. And we know that the Aztecs say that their capital of Tenochtitlan was made in the image of Aslan. And from that capital, we get a backwards projection that their origin place is a island surrounded by water. They actually built Tenochtitlan up into the lake and put causeways out so that it looks very much like Atlantis. According to the Aztecs, the god Huitzilopochtli was the founder of Tenochtitlan which as far as ancient astronaut theorists are concerned, provides yet another intriguing connection to Plato's description of Atlantis. Tenochtitlan was a place made artificially. Compare it to Atlantis. In both cases, a god was the ruler of it. In Atlantis, we have Poseidon. Now Poseidon was an extraterrestrial. Not everyone should have access to Atlantis. The same thing in Atlan or Tenochtitlan. They wanted to be separated. They had a certain technology there, which was a hidden technology, and it was not for the general public. So it's the same thing. The fact that we have stories that are not just similar but identical leads me to think that perhaps these ancient cultures were visited by the same extraterrestrials While mainstream academics consider the stories of these lost civilizations and their destruction to be mythological, the recent discovery of vast sunken landmasses such as Doggerland, located just east of the British Isles in 2012, and Zealandia, found near New Zealand in 2017, may offer proof that a catastrophic water event did, in fact, change the face of the Earth. So here we have authentic legends of lost lands that were destroyed in cataclysms. Mainstream historians, you know, still pretty much reject this, feel that it's all myths. But it would seem really that all kinds of civilizations could have come and gone on our planet. We know that there are over 200 known submerged cities in the Mediterranean. There's just so much on our planet that we have yet to find out. 
In the Native American indigenous teaching, there are cycles of destruction and rebirth. The interesting part is that this is parallel to other great world teachings. In the story of Noah, the sons of God came down to earth and they were teaching the humans evil ways and God decided to intervene and brought this great flood. In the story of Gilgamesh, the Sumerian legend, the council of gods brought the flood. The Inca god Viracocha created the great flood. So all of these traditions correspond directly with the Hopi Four Worlds tradition about previous civilizations destroyed by the gods. The story is always the same. This speaks to the idea of extraterrestrial intervention in human affairs. I believe there are ancient civilizations that some people refuse to write about. But ancient civilizations are coming to surface because the time has come to tell the truth about human origin. Could it be that Native American stories of star people and of lost civilizations so closely resembles other ancient traditions from around the globe because they all encountered the same otherworldly visitors. Ancient astronaut theorists say yes and suggest the Native American's knowledge of star people comes not only from the distant past, but from the extraterrestrial activity that occurs over native lands even today.